Right. Well, as time runs out for the legislature to resurrect the monumental deal, our I-team is still learning new details. This time, the I-team and Ted Oberg have documents you weren't likely meant to see. Ted joins us now live with what the I-team found. Ted? Yeah, hey, Sean, just last night with the monumental deal in Richmond seemingly dead, the city of Alexandria finally gave us emails we've been seeking in a Freedom of Information Act request for weeks. It was a few text messages and a couple emails in this group that caught our eye. This isn't some game of gotcha. Since the proposal was announced, the I-team has worked to get you the details of what you would pay for. These are your billions on the line, after all. Even now, with time running out, there's new information. The documents reveal the city of Alexandria's economic development team was talking about this deal in April or May of last year. It's a month or two earlier than we've known in the past. Not a huge deal, but evidence this was in discussion long before any of us knew about it. Some of these documents that we got last night were prepared answers to questions the I-Team asked a month ago. The team at Monumental had answers for the I-Team. They circulated those answers amongst themselves and Alexandria officials, but never sent them to us. They were only provided in the response to that FOIA that we sent to Alexandria. One of them reveals that Monumental is expected to pay, if this deal ever went through, $29.6 million a year in lease payments on the brand new arena. Well, that's a lot of money. But it's only a little more than the company is paying now in mortgage and rent payments, according to information we gathered and Washington Post reported. And that's on a building Capital One the teams want to move out of. Monumental officials didn't answer any specific questions today and said no comment generally. The thing, though, that really caught our eye were some texts from the mayor of Alexandria. Those were released, too. It's not exactly clear who Mayor Justin Wilson was talking to, but he writes the only difference between this arena deal and outdoor dining on King Street was scale. He's talking about funding here. Take a look. We finance and build the street, let a private restaurant use it in exchange for rent, and then, look at this, tax the crap out of their operation to pay for the street and then some. On the phone today, Mayor Wilson stands by that, even the part where he talks about taxing the crap out of people who dine or attend arena events. He called that, to me, informal language. I told the I-Team the funding mechanism for outdoor dining in Old Town and the $2 billion arena is the same. He even pointed us to tweets where he explained that, so we checked it out. He didn't tweet about taxing the crap out of anyone. We've also, by the way, been asking for internal emails from D.C. since December. They haven't sent us a single page and just today asked for another extension on deadlines that passed long, long ago. The deal might be dead, but we're still working. We know you will keep an eye on it for us indeed. Ted Oberg, thank you, Ted. Thanks, Ted.